some of the greatest finishes. Cheers. Can you believe Ferris wheels? They were wrestling on Ferris wheels. I was part of that one myself, so I'm, I'm happy about that one. Right here, Empire Pro Wrestling, that championship won by Axe Demolition. The Warlord. Oh, yeah, the Warlord from the WWF. That's right, your mother, WWE, was the WWF at that time. As well as King Kong Bundy. Can you believe we got this belt around Bundy's waist? He's got about a 60-inch waist. And I, oh, yeah, I wore that belt at one time, but we don't want to go there. Getting old, it's going to be October 27th. So all you people, remember my birthday. Send a gift to KBLE TV and care of Gary. Gary, he's my man. He's going to open up all my packages because we don't want no anthrax down here. You know that. <laughs> and we want to be some big packages, so be there or be square. Empire Pro Wrestling, the classics from 10 to 11 this week. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Alexander Badwell with Mr. Extreme. What a beautiful, beautiful woman. It's the shoes you like. I can tell. Bro. She's got the total package, baby. Yeah. We're going to take the rage in the cage right here. And you know who's going to be back here on June 10th? Alexander Barber is going to be back here. Let's hear it for him. How many of you guys want to see P.O. the Mouthy back here next month? On June 10th, the Extreme Hardcore Champion, P.O. the Mouthy. And we've got all the stars coming in, Axe Donation, some great stars, some new stars, some old stars right here at True Stream Pro Wrestling right here. Uh, right now we're going to bring out a, a local Russian that went to Japan, all over the world, world for now, former NWA champion, former New England champion, former Empire Pro Wrestling champion. Let's hear for Mr. Intensity. Eric Spurs, let's have a good round of applause for Eric Spurs, Mr. Intensity. Look at this guy. This guy's going to be supporting right here. Here it is. Here it is. Just a little. Intensity is flying high right here. Great to be here. Great to see you back here from that tour. You know, this man went all around the world. He just came back from a very expensive tour in Japan. And it was a very, very long trip as well as going to Texas. He was going to be here for a long time. And it was a very, very long trip as well as going to Texas and capturing the NWA Tag Team Champions with the uh, NWA New England office. And he's right here in Maryland Park to um, show you people what he's going to be doing. He wants to take that two extreme title back. I believe he wants that two extreme title. Is that correct? Now, let me get this straight. You've got some ringy big wrestler, the Raider, the Mask Raider is your extreme championship wrestling. Well, the Mask Raider is very, uh, his ability is, uh, you know, he's, he used to play professional football, now he's coming to professional wrestling. You know, a lot of football players are becoming wrestlers, you people who know that, right? And we got him right here, we got one, uh, the Mas Now let's get back to you, uh, we really don't know that basically that you're basically the nephew of Rocky Raymond, is that correct? Yep. Yep. And I am Rocky Raymond, so that means I'm, I'm the man. Well, for now I am. Well, we know that basically I used to chase you around a vacuum cleaner, right? He used to run around and all that stupid stuff and he'll beat me up and hit with a key kill. But getting back to what do you want to do right here at Extreme? Because we know you've been to Japan, you've been to all these great shows. Why don't you show the people how many years you wanted to ride my coattails? That's right, I wanted you to get into the big leagues like the WWF so I can ride right along your coattails. But unfortunately, you had a short stay in the WWF. That was pretty short, wasn't it? Okay. And basically, you're like a little brat in the family, and you don't want to listen to me and get directed in the right direction, right? Is that right? Yes or no? You want to see the little brat in the family? 
I'm bad with this brat. I don't see anything. He passed, but what the heck happened with him? He turned on you. Look at him. He put me through the table. What kind of respect is that for someone that broke him into a professional wrestling business at a very young age? Yeah, you taught him everything. You know, way back 10, 12, the other one who got him in stress, the other one who got him in shape, yeah, taught him everything. Yeah, now he's trying to, to give it back. This is what he pays you back? This is what you call a spoiled kid. No direction. And this is what he does to his uncle. He busted me wide open. You can see me busted yeah. wide open. He's dragging me here. I'm amazed, Rock. I really usually don't feel bad for you because I, I know how you are, but I'm really, I'm really feeling bad for you. It's, it's a sin. Well, he caught me off driving side. You can see he's trying to wheel me into this. He wants to get me on this uh, Ferris wheel, if you will. And it wasn't just to go for a ride. Yeah, he kicked me right into that chair. Terrible. Oh no, it looks like we're going up now, Daddy. I hope you weren't laying back. I hope you're gonna give it back to him, not because he's your nephew, to straighten him out. Well, we're way up in the sky now. I can't I, I'm amazed to see that. It's the first time I've seen this. And I don't believe it. It's know? unbelievable footage here. Yeah. You know? He's trying to bring him back, get him a title shot yeah, to extreme, and what's he do? Can't believe how you're wheeling at each other. He's pounding my head like it was a like a drum. Choking me? Unbelievable. I was hoping for better things from this kid, but uh, yeah. as you can see. I hope you can teach him a lesson. I didn't see the outcome in this, but I hope you're going to make him show who's boss rock. Well, you know, he's a very large guy. You know, he's been in Japan. He's been wrestling. He had one debut in uh, the WWF where he, uh, he took a vicious knee drop off the top. I'm actually rooting for you. Hit him again. The chair uh, get the, the chair again. Hit him again. Teach him something. Teach him a little respect. That's the problem with today. The generation I'm saying has no respect. There's the mass Raider now turning on me, hitting me in the head with that football helmet. As you can see, I was a little uh, groggy, and he got yeah. the yeah, just intensely a... walking around a chair. Unbelievable, right here. It's me, it's me, it's BBB. I'm here with the Iron Messiah, the commissioner of Empire Pro Wrestling. And we want to tell all you wrestling fans out there to watch the best of EPW right here on AT&T Broadband. Whatever time we're going to be in, we're going to be in Revere at 7.30 p.m. for one hour big show. We're going to be in Lynn on Friday night at 11 p.m. And we're going to be where, Messiah? And Saugus every Tuesday night at 6.30. And every Friday night, the reruns will be in 9 o'clock on Friday nights on Channel 8 and Saugus. If you want the best of Empire Pro Wrestling coming at you with the commissioner, be there or be square. There's a lot of controversy that exists between you and the Dungeon Master. And, uh, and, and Mr. Majestic, first of all, what happened with you and Mr. Majestic? Majestic, he turned on me. We were in the ring. I had myself in a very bad predicament with Mr. Jiu-Jitsu Dave Costoli. He had me up in the back break. I was almost to a point to giving up. But that little 10% that I had was left in me. Majestic jumped on the top rope, pulled something out of his trunks, a roll of quarters, hit the guy across the head, and that's what had happened. Now we know that this belt is going to stay in my hands and in New England. No one's going to take it because I'm giving 110%. And these idiots over here, the dungeon master, this dungeon, we're going to send every one of them to the dungeon tonight because when I beat them in the middle of that ring right there, we separate the men from the boys in the little square circle. So remember one thing, when you come to Lynn and see the Playboy, you're seeing the best talent that's in New England right now, and that's me, Playboy Rocky Raymond. And I want everyone out there to remember that I'm champion. The New England heavyweight wrestling champion. One thing before you go, Mr. Majestic, who used to be your manager, Rocky, is now the manager of Dungeon Master. How do you think this will affect the match? Well, I don't know. I know if he gets in the ring, I'm going to hit him just as hard as I hit anybody else. And there's another thing. 
when the time comes, I'll challenge Majestic if he wants to get in there and duke it out. I'll be there waiting for him and ready. Okay, thanks a lot, Rocky. Rocky Matt Raymond, the New England heavyweight wrestling champion. Well, the gentleman walking around the ring, I'm sure you all know, this is the famous manager, Mr. Majestic. Mr. Majestic, welcome. We're glad to be here again. We uh, would like to ask you, first of all, about this controversy that exists between you and the New England heavyweight wrestling champion, Rocky Raymond. You used to be his manager, is that right, Mr. Majestic? I used to be his manager one time. And tell used us... to be. Yeah. Do not refer to me as his manager. I was his manager, I'm not no more. I'm the Dungeon Master's manager now. Well... He turned on me, he wouldn't listen. I never turned on him. He would not listen to me. Exactly what happened, for the benefit of our fans that weren't there that particular evening, what happened? He jumped up on the apron to save his belt. He was in a backbreaker. He was going to lose that belt. I saved his belt and his championship for me, and he turned on me. So, in other words, you have severed all association with Rocky Raymond. Is all, that true? Our relationship is over, completely over. And tonight I'm going to destroy him. And you are now the manager of the... Of the Dungeon Master. Tell us a little bit about this uh, very mysterious gentleman. He's very mysterious. I got him locked up right now. He's from Sun City, South Africa. And a big gentleman. And a big gentleman. Yeah. He's six foot six and he weighs a ton. And he takes no seat to second to none. He'll be there. Like I said, the Playboy. This is D-Day. Dungeon Master Day. Today. We're going to destroy him. Should prove to be a very interesting match. Be here. You'll see. Thank you very you much. Mr. Majestic, one of the great, great managers, formerly the manager of Rocky Raymond, the New England heavyweight wrestling champion, and now the man... <laughs> here is Mr. Majestic, the famous manager of the equally famous Dungeon Master. Dungeon Master, ably assisted by Mr. Majestic, his manager. What a match this is going to be against the New England Heavyweight Wrestling Champion. And a great champion he is, Rocky Raymond. Mr. Majestic and Dungeon Master walking around the ring, taunting the fans. What a sight this is. Now, Mr. Majestic, you may recall, used to be the manager of Rocky Raymond. But what a falling out they have. And Mr. Majestic is now the manager of the very, very dangerous, the very unpredictable Dungeon Master. We have no idea who he is. He's spitting at us. He's coming over and spitting at us. Oh, coming over with the whip hitting the table. You heard it. I don't know if you got to see it on television, but you heard it. What a fearsome sight he is with that whip. Dungeon Master still walking around with Mr. Majestic. The crowd is taunting the Dungeon Master. They are absolutely taunting him. A group of about 75 or 85 fans. And yelling six foot six, weighs a ton. The mysterious mess man, the dungeon master, may be assisted by his famous manager, Mr. Majestic. We are waiting the arrival of the very, very popular New England heavyweight wrestling champion, Rocky Raymond. And judging by the applause, here he comes. A great wrestling star, Rocky Raymond. You are in for a rare treat if you've never seen Rocky Raymond in action before. He's the best. The best. Raymond with that championship belt. He takes off the belt, as you can hear. 
a ton. And he is second to none. The very dangerous Dungeon Master. with Mr. Majestic as his manager against the great Rocky Raymond. Everybody loves this guy. What an athlete, what a wrestler. Holding that New England Heavyweight Wrestling Championship belt. Very, very popular wrestling star. And why he has that whip, I don't know. Rocky Raymond with a chair and a chair being flung. Heavyweight Wrestling Champion standing in at 245 pounds against the Dungeon Master from Sun City, South Africa. He is introduced as being six foot six, weighing a ton, and second to none. Dungeon Master outside the ring now. They're waiting for the signal to begin. I think we're about ready to begin. Paul Rich is giving last minute instructions, making sure everything's on the up and up. And uh, Dungeon Master getting some last minute instructions himself from Mr. Majestic. He removed his hood, and there's another hood underneath the hood. The mask underneath the mask. Okay, here we go. We're underway. The Dungeon Master against Rocky Raymond. The Dungeon Master, quite a few inches taller than Rocky, who is no midget in his own right. Nice takedown, beautiful takedown by the New England champ. And another takedown, great moves and Master says, holy mackerel. Dungeon Master leaves the ring in a hurry. Mr. Majestic coming over for a few well-chosen words. And he's going to need more than a few well-chosen words because he's up against the best. Playboy Rocky Raymond. New England heavyweight wrestling champion. Playboy Rocky Raymond. I'm sure you can hear the crowd behind us yelling, Dungeon, Dungeon. Dungeon a little bit slow getting back in the ring, but he does so. Definite contrast in style, wrestling fans. The smooth styling of Playboy Rocky Raymond, the champ, against the very formidable but rough house tactics of the Dungeon Master. Across the ring goes the Dungeon Master into the ropes. Across he goes, and a monkey flip! What a monkey flip! Six foot six in the air. And once again, Dungeon Master leaves the ring. Rocky Raymond looking in super, super shape. He is quick. He weighs 245 pounds, but he moves like he weighs 145 pounds. Rocky Raymond has wrestled the best and has always come out victorious. Not only one of the finest wrestlers around today, but one of the most popular wrestlers in the business. The playboy himself, Rocky Raymond. Andrew Master doesn't want to get back in, but he finally does. Raymond ready to go. I uh, don't think I could say the same for Dungeon Master. Look at the size of this guy. He's got to be close to 300 pounds. 
And we have the championship belts right in front of us that was just handed to us by one of the ring attendants. And the winner of this match will get this belt placed around his shoulders. Beautiful takedown by Rocky Raymond. And out of the ring goes Dungeon Master once again. I think Dungeon Master has met his match. Mr. Majestic telling the fans to be quiet. He's got that whip, and Raymond trying to kick that whip out of his hands. Both the manager and Dungeon Master just walking around the ring. Referee Paul Richard County, the count is six. If he doesn't get by ten, he loses the match. He finally gets in by nine, just beating the count. Rocky Raymond, New England heavyweight wrestling champion. Against the Dungeon Master. A kick to the stomach by Dungeon Master. Another kick to the stomach. Down goes the Playboy. And a neck gouge back of the neck with the full force of his elbow. And Rocky Raymond is losing a kick to the back for good measure. He's got both feet. Mr. Majestic is on the outside of the ring. And he doesn't belong there. There's Mr. Majestic with the, with the whip. And he drives the whip into the small of the back. The referee did not see it. Mr. Majestic on the outside of the ring, driving that whip into the small of the back. Referee Paul Richard did not see it. And Rocky Raymond, a punch to the stomach and into the face, and down goes Mr. Majestic. Mr. Majestic wanted to call time, but you don't do that in professional wrestling. And that both boys tied up in the ropes, in the ropes, and Rocky Raymond working over the nose, and there's a punch to the throat. Oh, my goodness. Look like a judo chop to the throat, and out of the ring goes Raymond onto the floor. What a fall that was. And Mr. Majestic throws Rocky Raymond back into the ring, and Dungeon Master working over Rocky Raymond. Could this be the makings of a new champion? I don't know. We're going to see in a few moments. Into the ropes goes Rocky Raymond. Over goes Rocky. We could be seeing history being made. Could be seeing a new champion. Count is one. Count is two. And not quite three. Rocky Raymond kicked out on the nick of time. Nice kick out by the champion himself. Played by Rocky Raymond. Both elbows into the shoulders. Illegal move. And now a nerve hold by the Dungeon Master. Weakening Rocky Raymond. Rocky not faring too well with these nerve holds done by the master himself, the Dungeon Master. Dungeon Master's manager, Mr. Majestic, on the outside of the ring, yelling encouragement. Still with that painful nerve hold. This could be the beginning of the end. Raymond trying to break loose. The crowd encouraging him. Very, very painful hold. Rocky works himself to his knees, trying to get up. No, unsuccessful. Majestic, applying all that pressure, pretty close to 300 pounds. The nerve hold on the back of the neck of uh, the, the Playboy himself. And Playboy, I don't know how he got out of that, but he did. The mark of a true champion, weakened as he is, he broke that nerve hold. Let's see if, he have enough, if Rocky has enough strength to muster some sort of an attack. A knee to the stomach by the masked man. Across the ring goes Rocky. Oh, wow. Wow, the ring almost collapsed with the force of that. Rocky Raymond. Rocky Raymond about to be undone as champion. Dungeon Master lifting both hands as if in victory. Here he comes. And an elbow to the neck of the New England heavyweight wrestling champion, Rocky Raymond. It doesn't look good for the champion. Right to the jaw. Hold it. He reverses it. And into the turnbuckle goes the masked man, the dungeon master. Rocky, a beautiful monkey flip. And over goes the 300-pound dungeon master. And dungeon master leaves the ring. And he is woozy. Look at the expression on his face. I don't think Dungeon Master knows where he is. Mr. Majestic on the outside of the ring. Dungeon Master a little bit slow getting in the ring. Referee Paul Richard is counting. He has to get in the ring by a count of 10, and he does. Let's go, Rocky. Come on, Rocky. Rocky Raymond against the Dungeon Master. Nice go 
behind by The Rock. And down, go, wow, he lifted 300 pounds. That's a 300 pound character he lifted. Six foot six. Referee's hold. Nice takedown by the champ. Rocky Raymond got his one. No. Dungeon Master kicks out. One of the biggest uh, men we've seen in professional wrestling. And uh, nobody has uh, ever seen what he looks like behind that mask. And a kick to the stomach by Dungeon Master. And a kick to the shoulder by Dungeon Master. Another kick to the stomach. Rocky. Rocky in the receiving end of some vicious kicks and a chop. Out to the throat, and into the throat again. And a nice meal kick by The Rock. And a nice chop on his own right. New England heavyweight wrestling champion, Rocky Raymond. Dungeon Master looks a little unhappy. We don't know why. Another chop, and a chop by Dungeon Master. The boys mixing it up by Rocky Raymond. And Dungeon Master, back and forth it goes. Looks like Rocky has the mask. I thought the mask was going to come off. Here's a takedown by The Rock. Count is one, count is two. Not quite three, Dungeon Master kicks out. Looks like Rocky tried to remove that mask. Dungeon Master goes to the safety of outside the ring. And perhaps some words of advice from Mr. Majestic, his famous manager. Both wrestlers right in front of us. And as we mentioned, the championship belt is right in front of us. The New England Heavyweight Wrestling Championship currently being owned by Playboy Rocky Raymond. Will he own it at the end of this match? No one, no one knows. Match is pretty even thus far. Both men certainly holding their own. Although every time, every time something happens to Dungeon Master, he leaves the ring. Couple of nice chops by The Rock. Across the ring goes, goes the Dungeon Master. That whole ring shakes into the other turnbuckle. Wow, that ring must have moved six to seven inches. I think, I think Mr. Majestic just slipped something to Dungeon Master. He's got something in his hands. Oh, it is a shot of fire. A shot of fire into the eyes of Rocky Raymond. A shot of fire. I don't know what it was. The bell has been rung. I don't know if... I don't know if Dungeon Master, he's been knocked down, the referee. What is happening here? We saw fire. Rocky Raymond has been burnt. Now Mr. Majestic and the Dungeon Master working over Rocky Raymond. Here comes Pete Aleman into the ring. Holy mackerel. Never seen anything like this. Out of the ring goes Aleman. The bell is ringing. Rocky Raymond's eyes have been burned. Both Dungeon Master and Mr. Majestic working over Rocky Raymond. Referee Paul Ritchie goes out of the ring. Here comes, here comes handsome Ricky Saxon. Here comes the Comanche Kid. And they clear the ring. Holy mackerel, what a finish. We can only hope and pray that Rocky Raymond has not been injured permanently. Here comes the Dungeon Master. This is mine. Dungeon Master saying that the championship belt is his, I don't know. We haven't got a verdict yet, Mr. Majestic. We haven't got a verdict yet on that belt. Mr. Majestic and the Dungeon Master are leaving the arena with the belt. We don't know if it is rightfully theirs. In the ring is Rocky Raymond being helped by several of the wrestlers, and it looks like he has been burned quite severely. You saw it, fans. A bolt of fire came shooting out of uh, the masked man's hands. And uh, the, the fire went right into the eyes of Rocky Raymond. And uh, uh, we can only hope that no permanent damage. The, the, the uh, doctor in attendance uh, in attendance is in the ring, along with uh, Gil Aliman, uh, both referees, wrestler uh, Ricky Sexton, the wrestler Comanche Kid, are working over the Rocky Raymond. We see that he is all bandaged up. He's all bandaged up, being helped to his feet. And Rocky Raymond's right eye obviously was burned. And as we mentioned, we hope not too severely. He has sight out of, perhaps partial sight out of his left eye, but his right eye has been burned.
and boys and girls, the Dungeon Master has been disqualified. And the winner of the match, due to this disqualification, and still the New England Heavyweight Wrestling Champion, Rocky Raymond, the winner of the match and still champion. Well, folks, you heard that, uh, that decision, a very, very controversial match. Uh, Bolts of Lightning uh, came from the hands of the Dungeon Master and into the right eye, it looked like, of uh, Pope Rocky Raymond. The referee... It's official stuff right here. Gina's down on the nail. She's moving from right to left. She's going from right to left, back and forth. We're here at Anthony's Hair Design, right here on Hancock Street, 67 Hancock Street. Remember that? Remember that number, because Gina's here. And the incredible Jasmine's here from World Gym. And Jasmine, what do you get? Your makeover from where? EBW. EBW at Bio Pro Wrestling. We bring the best, don't forget the rest. Don't forget the watches and Revere from 10 to 11. KBLE TV and Revere, as well as Saugus. What time are we on at Saugus? Do anyone know? 9 to 10. 9 to 10. <laughs> See, she knows, she knows. Be there. Good, and a combined weight of 575 pounds.
Oh, has been eliminated. The referee's doing a super job getting these wrestlers out of here. Lobo wants to go back in the ring. The referee's saying, uh-uh, oh, nothing doing. You've been thrown out. That's it. Now Lobo, the fourth gentleman to be eliminated. The Gullahs just body slammed Mr. Majestic, 300 pounds. I think they're trying to get Mr. Majestic behind the ring, and they did it. Mr. Majestic has been eliminated. 300 pounds just eliminated. Mr. Majestic, an outstanding wrestler, and also the manager of Rocky Lane. Nice drop kick! I think it's the Gullahs! Both Gullahs have been eliminated! The Gullahs Mr. Majestic leaving, and Grant and Joe Gullah, also known as the Long Riders. Wrestlers trying to get the Super Destroyer out. I think Super Destroyer may be the next one to go. There's three or four wrestlers working on it. And it's Comanche number two. Comanche two. Comanche's eliminated, both fellas eliminated. There are four wrestlers, and I think White Flash is gone. How magnificent they're gone. White Flash and El Magnificent eliminated. White Flash and Magnificent eliminated. We have Hanson Ricky Sexton against the Super Destroyer. This is it for $5,000. Oh, there goes Sexton, the winner of the match. is the Super Destroyer. fans, the Super Destroyer from Parts Unknown. Nobody knows who he is, where he comes from, has won the Sensational Battle Royal, beating Ricky Sexton. He has won $5,000, and he'll be back a little bit later to meet the champ, New England Heavyweight Wrestling Champion, Rocky Maiman. Ace. Oh yeah, right here, all the matches from Empire Pro Wrestling, the New England title. Take a look at this belt. Zoom in, cameraman. This is authentic. This is not no replica belt. This is not made from Toys R Us or some magazine where you mock by your belts or some goofy wrestler gives you a belt that can't wrestle to begin with. Can't even wash, let alone wrestle. But right here, Empire Pro Wrestling, the classics are coming this week. The classics, whether it be King Kong Bundy, Axe Demolition, The Warlord, Oh, yeah, Astro Man from the Dominican Republic. It might even be me underneath the mask as the mask waiter because you know I like football. And the ratings are coming this year. As well, hey, you know, my birthday's October 27th, you know, right here. Get all your gifts down to KBLE TV. Cinnamon Kira, Gary Mitchell. He'll open up the package because you know a lot of people want to bomb Rocky Raymond. No Antrax, please. Send big packages, small packages. But be said something for the KBLE TV wrestling crew. Be there 10 to 11, Friday night, or be square. Match will be Paul Richmond, very fine, capable young gentleman from Lynn, great referee. I think I hear Rocky Raymond's music, kind of a way of introducing the New England heavyweight champion Rocky Raymond, and what a champion he is. We're going to see two superstars in this match, wrestling fans. The Super Destroyer, 240 pounds. This Rocky Raymond, also 240 pounds. The champion hands from right here. There we go.
I tell you folks, I've really been looking forward to this match. All the matches have been great thus far. This is the main bout for the New England title. We're watching the champion with the long black tights, Playboy, Rocky Raymond, against the Destroyer. Super Destroyer looks to be in sensational condition, as does Rocky Raymond. Rocky Raymond, the New England heavyweight champion, has been meeting all comers wherever he wrestles. Fine wrestler. There is no one that this gentleman fears. He'll go anywhere to wrestle anybody. Playboy Rocky Raymond. Super Destroyer, first time in this area. How's that for a move, wrestling fans? Very, very strong. Looks to be in tip-top shape. Quite a mystery man. No one in the dressing room knows him. He will talk to no one. Enters the arena with a mask. Nice takedown by the champion, Rocky Raymond. Another nice takedown by Raymond. There's a body lift and a body slam by the champion. This match might be on the Slava. Rocky Raymond takes Super Destroyer into the ropes. And a nice flip. Down goes the Super Destroyer. And out of the ring goes the Super Destroyer. Incidentally, fans, the gentleman that you see outside of the ring is Mr. Majestic. Mr. Majestic, quite a huge specimen of uh, gentleman. He is the manager of the champion, Rocky Raymond. Mr. Majestic, the manager walking around the ring. The Super Destroyer has a count of 10 to get in the ring, and referee Paul Richards is counting. He's a little hesitant about getting back in the ring with Raymond, and frankly, I don't blame him. I think I'd be too. Super Destroyer saying, stand back. Mm -mm, no timeouts in professional wrestling. You can call timeouts in many other sports. Not in wrestling. Right to the chops. Destroy on an elbow into the back of the neck of the playboy. Rocky Raymond fell. Oh, a back rake with his fingernails on that hurts. And Raymond retaliates. Nice move by Raymond. And down goes Super D, Super Destroyer. Nice move by Raymond. I don't know what he calls that. Had a sensational move. Great fighting champion. Rocky Raymond attempting to take the mask off. To no avail. To no avail. A Super D rakes the eyes of the champ. Double tomahawk by Super D. Into the ropes goes the champ. Right in the ribs. Boy, that hurt. Elbow smash. Count of two, not quite three. Mr. Majestic on the outside of the ring. Advising the champion along. Nice reverse by the champion. Count of two, not quite three. Takedown by Super Destroyer. And a front face hold. Mr. Majestic, Rocky Raymond's manager, outside of the ring, yelling encouragement to the champion. I certainly hope that... Uh, Majestic does not become involved in this match. His place is outside the ring and not in the ring, interfering in the action. Referee asking the champion if he gives up. Rocky says, uh-uh. How about Rocky, who's going to take advantage and rip that mask off, but not quite. Maybe yet, we'll see. Super Destroyer from parts unknown. Rocky Raymond attempted to get out of that very, very painful front headlock. And he does. Nice move by the champ. And an elbow into the midsection. A second elbow. And he gets that whole broken elbow by Mr. D as he retaliates. Two very, very rugged gentlemen. Playboy Rocky Raymond and a leg drive by Super D. This could be it. Down is two, not quite three. Rocky Raymond at the expense of the Super Destroyer. And down goes Raymond. 
Mr. Majestic, the manager, yelling encouragement. Oh, my goodness, right on the throat. The referee can disqualify Super Disqualify. He has to stop. Three knee drops to the throat. I don't know if Rocky's going to get up after this one, fans. Three vicious knee drops. He's got to release it by a count of four. He is disqualified. Rocky in bad shape after those knee drops. Trying to retaliate, and he does. Nice move. Beautiful move by the tackle, and Rocky Raymond. Super D just gets out. There's about two and three quarters that count. Great move by the champion. We've got him again. Now once again, the Super D breaks out. Rocky Raymond defending his New England Heavyweight Championship against the challenge of the Super D, Super Destroyer. Who is he? No one knows. He's an ask all the time. Mr. Majestic, right outside the ring, just a few feet away from the action in the ring. If he stays out of the ring, he does not belong in the ring. Here does he belong, distracting the referee. You can hear the crowd behind us on Rocky. Rocky Raymond. One tough individual has a very, very big following. Rocky from Revere. Super Destroyer, no one knows where he's from. Only the Super Destroyer. Mr. Majestic kind of telling the uh, referee to keep an eye on Super D. Both wrestlers kind of circling each other now. There's a test of strength. Intertwining fingers of both hands. Test of strength. Hooked up in a twist of strength. Hey boy, Rocky Raymond, Super Destroyer. Kick to the stomach by Super Destroyer, and that hurt. And a punch to the head. Referee saying, open your hands. Referee Paul Richards warning Super D. A kick to the midsection by Super D. And a kick to the throat. Trying for body slam, unsuccessful. Rocky trying to tie up Super D in the ropes. And he's got him tied up. He's got him tied up, warning him. Nothing much Super D can do now. He's tied up. Referee saying, let him, let him loose. Let him loose. The manager, Mr. Majestic, pulling the ropes. He should not become involved in this. Paul oh, Richard trying to turn him loose. He can't do it. And Rocky Raymond working Super D over pretty good, and Super D is absolutely defenseless. And Mr. Majestic pulling the ropes once again. Finally, the referee gets him untangled. I'd say the advantage is certainly Rocky Raymond's right now. And to there he goes. Atomic drop. This could be it. A very, very painful hold. This could be it. The count is one. The count is two. And... Was it three? Not quite. Not quite three, fans. A two and nine tenths. Power lift and slam by Rocky. Count is one, count is two. Again, not quite three. Rocky into the ropes. Great knee drop. Oh, by golly, this got to be it. One, two, no. That Super D is amazing. Any other gentleman would be finished. Anybody else would be finished. He's just kicked out the last three times, just in the nick of town. A punch to the stomach by Super D. A punch to the throat by Super D. Uh-oh. An illegal move, as you saw that. Super D should be disqualified right now. Hitting Rocky Raymond below the belt, and everyone saw it. Everyone saw it. He should be disqualified. Rocky Raymond out of the ring, and Super D right on top of him. We saw it, fans. Illegal move. There's no question in my mind or in the minds of any of the wrestling fans here at the arena. I would disqualify Super D right now and call Playboy Rocky Raymond the winner. Rocky Raymond having a little trouble getting in the ring. Both wrestlers on the outside of the ring. 
Piper D back in the ring. Rock around and land on the floor. He has a count of 10. Has to get it by a count of 10. Or he will lose the match. The referee counting. Holy mackerel. I've never quite seen anything like this. Mr. Majestic trying to help Rocky up. Referee's finding the counts again because he had to move the Super Destroyer back. And the referee trying to move Super D back. Super D wants to get a Rocky Raymond. Rocky Raymond on the apron of the ring. And a punch by Super D. He won't let him in the ring. He finally gets in the ring. Oh my goodness. Nice retaliation by Rocky Raymond, the champ. As he makes believe Super D is a punching bag. Into the ropes goes Super D. And a pinch to the throat of Rocky. Holy mackerel, what a match. Non-stop from start till now. And a headbutt. I wonder if he had anything in that mask. I wouldn't be surprised if he had a foreign object. Where's he going? He's leaving the ring. Is he going after the manager? No. He's going after a chair. Super D has a chair, wrestling fans. I don't believe it. He's coming into the ring. Rocky Raymond is bleeding. Super D kicks the referee. Can anybody stop me? He hits the referee. Oh, no. He misses Rocky Raymond hitting the ring post. Here the chair goes flying. Now Rocky Raymond picks up the chair. The new referee, count as one, count as two, count as three, that's it! Rocky Raymond, one of the match! from 9 to 10 on community cable TV. So be there to watch the best of the best with me and Nalty. We're going to commentate. We don't hesitate. Oh, yeah, we got them all. We got some mamazitas. And tell us about the mamazitas that we saw. Tell them. Tell them how They're it was. They're beautiful. They're beautiful. You let them leave it. Be there with me and Nalty at EPW. And a fourth. Fifth. Unbelievable. Now. The world looks a little groggy. Oh, he scoops him up, 345 pounds of the Astro Man. Oh, down into the mat. It's all over. We got a new champion with the Power Slam. There you have it, fans. Empire Pro Wrestling. New. Heavyweight Wrestling Champion, The Warlord. Okay, we're back, Empire Pro Wrestling, coming at you each and every week. We keep it complete, but right now, we're at Nails by Gina, and I'm with the incredible Jasmine. And Gina, she did a great job on the makeover. What do you think today? You think you did a awesome. great job? She did a beautiful job. And you got beautiful feet. Aw, thank you. And remember, you're going to come back each and every week, right? Absolutely, just for her. And <laughs> Nails by Gina? What do you have to say about this whole situation? I have to say Jasmine um, was very nice to work with, and I hope she comes back um, within the next couple of weeks to have her uh, makeover done all over again, and um, I hope to see her soon. Okay, we're going to do it one more time. We're on KBLE TV Repair Channel 8, 10 to 11. Be there at B-Square. We're going to be in Saugus Community Cable. 
nine to ten, so bring a friend and do it all over again. And remember one thing, if you're not in the book, you're not even gonna get a look. Right here, at Nails by Gina with the incredible Jasmine. Be, 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 big, bold, and beautiful, but not too bold to hold with Gina. Now let's give it a big hug right here and say so long for makeovers from EPW.